Tessie and Prince Drew came inside after lunch. They could not find the golden ball. I know who left it right here. What could have happened to it? Princess Tessie and Prince Drew looked everywhere, but they could not find the ball. Princess Tessie was very sad. And all the people were as sad in the kingdom too because they loved Princess Tessie. Then I came along and heard what happened. Sounds like one of Bruha's mean tricks. The fairy went to Bruha's house and found the golden ball on the table. Bruha! This is the meanest, nastiest thing you've ever done. I warned you if you didn't learn to be nice, something terrible would happen. So I raised my wand, said the magic word, and Bruha turned to a star. Good. There. Let that be a lesson to you. You'll never bother anybody ever again. Princess Tessie. She was so happy, she jumped up and down, saying, Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. And everyone lived happily ever after. Everyone except Blue Hall. The end. Oh, now that you left me, how can I live through another day? Watching my dreams turning to ashes and my hopes into bits of clay. Once I could see, once I could feel, now I am numb, I become Unreal. I walk the night without a goal. Stripped of my heart, my soul. What now, my love? Now that it's over, I feel the world closing in on me. Here come 
the stars tumbling around me. There's a sky where the sea should be. What now, my love? Now that you're gone, I'd be a fool to go on and on. No one would care, no one would cry, if I could live or die. What now, my love? Now there is nothing, only my last goodbye. And we are continuing the story. Here's what happened. Graham was so mean that the good fairy had turned her into a frog, and she cried for days. I don't want to be a frog or a monster. Then who should come along but Princess Tessie? Oh, a monster! I'm, no, I'm not a monster. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a creature. I, I am Bruja. Bruja, is that really you? Yes, and your friend, the good wizard, turned me into a hag. Then a monster, because I was, wasn't nice. What am I going to do? Tonight, my father became the good resign, and I will become the queen. If you promise, you can to never be mean or evil again. I will command the, the wizard to turn you back into the beautiful lady you once were. Oh, I would love that. Later that day, Princess Tessie asked her friend, the local wizard, to turn Bruja into a beautiful lady. No, never. Bruja was evil. But people can change, can't they? Yes, but Bruja could never change. I think Bruja has learned a lesson. Our tired Karen said the good wizard would not change her back into a beautiful lady, and she ran away. Soon Bruja was living in a cave in a swamp, living on, living on crab grass. Ugh, I can never eat crab grass. Soon she fell into the swamp. Then a hungry anger came along, looking for a little snack. He saw the monster Bruja among them. The alligator dived! Yikes! Help! The good wizard was looking for Bruja, and he was taking a walk, looking for ingredients for his magic potion. Then suddenly he saw Bruja and cried for help. Be still! Please, good wizard, I don't want to be a monster. Make me into a good person. You must promise never to be mean or evil again. I promise, I promise. So the good wizard waved his magic wands, and Bruja was changed back into a person. Good heart, and everyone loves her. She'll be your queen. Therefore, I crown thee. I'm back. Bruja! Yes, Princess Tessie, I'm back to normal. People, I promise that I will be kind and good. Well, Bruja, you may do the honor. I crown the Queen Tessie! Yay! Bruja was an evil person, as evil as they came. She learned her lesson, a nice person she became. Her evil ways are gone, I say this for all men. Her evil ways are gone, they won't ever come again. I cut sing, singing the song of angry men. It is the music of a people who will not be slaves again. When the beating of your heart echoes the beating of the drum, there is a life about to start with tomorrow come. Will you join in our <laughs> crusade? Who will be strong and stand with me? Beyond the barricade, is there a world you want to see? Then join in the fight that will give you the right to be free. Do you hear the people sing? Singing the song of angry men is the music of the people who will not be slaves again. 
When the beating of your heart as is the beating of the drug, there's a life about to start when tomorrow comes. Will you give or you can give so that a banner may attack? Some will fall and some will live, will you stand up and take your chance? The blood of the martyrs will water the meadows of France. Do you hear the people sing? Sing the song of angry men. It is the music of a people who will not be praised again. When the beating of your heart and with the beating of the drum, there is a life about to start when tomorrow comes. Bum, ba, ba, bum, 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 ba, ba, bum, 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 bum. Okay, good. Play favorite wacky stunt show, Beat the Time. Here is your host, Mort Zero. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody, thank you. Yes, welcome to Beat the Time, a fun, fun game where everybody has lots of fun. And now to meet today's first contestant, Holger from the show, Rachel. Thank you, thank you very so much. Hi there, Holger, how are you? I'm fine, Mort. Are you ready for today's crazy stunt? You, Mort. I guess so. What will I win? You will win a souvenir. A souvenir? What kind of souvenir? You'll find out after the game. And now, on to the game. Your job is to find three things. That's three things that begin with the letter T. Three things that begin with the letter T. You got it, Holger. And you must find those things in 45 seconds. Get set, go! What do I say? You start now! <laughs> really do it. Holger's got to find three things. There's three things that begin with the letter T. Tuba! T, T. I have to find two more. Your friend just stole my tuba. We're doing a cousin show here, sir. All right, uh, hey, aren't you more zero? Yes, but you got to get off the stage. And this beat the time? Yes, it is, but we're playing a game here. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Will you please take your tube away and get off the stage? Yes, sir, Mr. Zero. Sorry about it. <laughs> Hope I have to find two more things that begin with the letter T. Um, can he do it? Here he comes now. Turtle! That's it, Holger. It's two things that begin with the letter T. You only need one more thing. Tell us got to say! Hmm. Hurry, Holger. Go find Is there anything that I do? Uh, hurry, Holger. Go find something else that begins with the letter T. You have a few seconds left. Is there anything that I do? I got it! Hurry, Holger! Well, that's all the time we have. This is more Zero saying tune in next time for our Spang Wacky Stampin' episode of Beat the Time. Run, Holger, run! Okay. Worth mentioning. It's worth repeating. A good cast is worth mentioning. Featuring Holger. And the tank driver. And Tucker Turtle. The tuba player. And introducing America's favorite game show host and actor, Mort Zero. Intermission, intermission. He is a furry brown creature. You know, light brown, cream colored coffee is when you put in the, the milk and 
I prefer to be called Beige. I was looking all over for you, Pink Guardy. So what's that for you doing that for? Because I need you for my uh, recital in Sameda in Shakespeare. That show? It's ridiculous. Yeah. Never mind. I'm getting into top. Can you introduce me? Louder. The good height, you sound like you're catching a bad cold. Oh, I'm surrounded by uh, some company. What do you know? If you make the fool of himself, we'll be in trouble. Then again, how will we learn? <coughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, in the direction of Torah, Dirt, New East, and Bethlehem, most will present the Nile in Shakespeare. Um, but I'm supposed to look Elizabeth. I think Elizabeth Taylor accessorizes better than you do. One cried, uh, God bless us, uh, and amen. The other, as they uh, saw me, with these hangman hands. What hangman? What? Myself. Would you? Stop it! I need to get my energy. Isn't he cute? Actually, a uh, teddy bear is cute. Oh, they're black. Since you have a cold, I do not have a cold. I have a show. The so matter is, that's just over in Egypt, Mark. Stop. What are you doing? I'm not sick. Stop it! Mark. Uh, you have all the, the, the symptoms of a uh, terrible cold. I want you uh, to take uh, some aspirin and lie down. I don't know what you're talking about. You're crazy! Calm down, Mark. You want to, you want to get better, do you? Um, uh, see me uh, in two weeks. Two weeks? I'll be uh, playing uh, golf, playing golf. I feel a little tired. I should uh, lie down. I think this is a bad show, don't you, audience? I got Chop Hall to entertain you. Chop Hall, stand up! Yes? We need a good going home song. Uh, I think I know one. I do too. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. 
The name of the show is Poison to Poison. Tonight in our studio is Scientist Maynard. Good evening, Ed. Do you have any uh, food? No, I don't. I understand you've been working on a machine in Woodless Lab. Of course, we've been working on a machine that genetically changes your body form. In fact, I have brought in a uh, few uh, subjects. Here's an orange monster, a pirate, a weird dog, <laughs> fuzz budget, a strange beast, and last but not least, a clown. Now do you have anything to eat? No. Anyway, how did you do it? This, mach this machine can change our body form, so you can do anything and be anybody you never dreamed of. Anything? Anything. Want to try it? Um... No. Oh it, oh, it can't hurt you. Try it! I believe he's done. Come out, Ed. Oh, oh, oh. oh Ed, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Hmm. Want to try uh, for Bernice? Just to sing along, I won't. And if you ask me to sing along, cause I won't. Although for you, I would do almost anything. But I refuse to sit around and hear you sing. Oh, Teddy, it will make you happy when you start to sing a snappy little number that'll bounce you right along. No, I won't. Like Farmer and the Dollar or McDonald High Farmer, maybe what's the name of that song? Who cares? So if you use a lot of singing, but you haven't even, if you have to know to sing along, why? You'll do a favor first if you let your only words for a swinging sing-along song. 
No, 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 and in the best topic we take you with, I quit. That's that. That's that. <laughs> Perfect. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When the sun goes down and burns the tar up on the roof. And you should get so hot, you wish your tired feet were fireproof. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah. On a blanket with my baby, that's where I'll be. Under the boardwalk. Out of the sun, Under the we'll be having some fun. Under the boardwalk. People walking above. We'll be making love the boardwalk. boardwalk From the park you hear the happy sound of a carousel <laughs> And you can almost taste the hot dogs and french fries They fell under the boardwalk Down by the sea, yeah On a blanket with my baby, that's where I'll be out of the sun, we'll be having some fun. People walking above, we'll be making love. Under the boardwalk, boardwalk. Send the letter to this address, Tara Shane, 950 Manchester Avenue, Moyland, Pennsylvania, 19065. You can also call us at 610-566-6347, or you can email us at aharris664 at aol.com. Oh, here's a hint. If you're, if you're requesting a show, Please give us names and addresses and directions to your house and your return phone number so we can get to you. And if you're requesting tickets to see a, a taping of the Jay Cantet show, send, send, a, send a letter in writing to Harris Inc., 950 Manchester Avenue, Media, Pennsylvania, 19065. You can also email us by means of the internet at aharris664 at aol.com. Also, um, please 
make sure you have a return address to we can get to you. We can get those tickets to you. All right, and let's thank John Paul Gomez. A good cast is worth mentioning. Thank you, John Paul. And to uh, Ann Harris, who's filming us, our stage crew, and the puppet. And remember, we had lots and lots of fun. No, but now it's time to go. That shall rain, whatever that means, whatever that means. I'll be in heaven still doing the show. See you next time. Yes, uh, it's that a wiggle. It's time for JB and Dad show, the missing and reverse it. To keep you up in the afternoon, so doctors are down in the waiting room, they entertain you in any way, probably with kids and joyous ride. I think for Roy and Aaron and so, so, we're all hearty and pen and tellers, let's watch the JB and Ted show. And uh, now, here's your host of the JB and Ted show, the stars of our show, JB and Ted. Today, you will meet some of your favorite nursery rhyme characters and hear them recite their favorite nursery rhymes. Our first guest is the old woman who lives in a shoe. You get more for your taking on yourself. I'm going to stay alive. My children are waiting for me at home. And, uh, and you have so many children, don't you? Well, uh, go right ahead and recite your favorite nursery rhyme. There wasn't an old woman who lived in a dump. She had something in bed, she needed a nice rock. Wait a minute. That's not how the rhyme goes. She wants to live in a shoe. Oh, she wants to live in a shoe. The doctor's so much bigger. Everyone else can keep each other away. Bye. Hopefully, well, hopefully, our next guest uh, will recite the correct rhyme. Please welcome Little Boy Blue. Yeah, I'm going on a TV show. This is so exciting. Hi, Mom. Welcome, little boy Blue. Are you ready to recite your favorite line? Yes, I am, Mark. Little girl Blue, come loiter to Cuba. The sheep in the meadow, the cows in Cuba. Where is the girl who looks happy to see? Under the haystack, fast asleep. Shall we wake her? No, not I. If I do, she's sure to cry. Little girl blue, it's supposed to be little boy blue. I had to give up my job because I went away to college. And my sister took over for me. Little girl blue, I'm happy to see. Where is the girl who looks happy to see? This is ridiculous. Thanks for having me on your show. Bye. Nobody is doing what, uh, what they are supposed to do. But the show must go on. So please welcome our next guest, Little Miss. Perfect. Hello, Mark. I'm glad to be here. Well, we are delighted to have you. Please recite your favorite nursery rhyme for us, and I hope it's the right one. Well, Mrs. Wells, that hot song is eating her oats and hay. The log in a cow is dead. Oh, wow. Maybe I could stay all day. Little Miss, little Mrs. Willow, it's supposed to be little Miss Muffet. Oh, did you hear it? I got married. My name is Mrs. Willow now. I can't take much more of this. Yeah, I hope you feel better too, Mark. Bye. What a disaster. Well, we have one last guest, and I certainly hope he gets the right, the right, right. Please welcome the cat from Hey Diddle Diddle. Hello. Hiya, Mark. How's it going? We don't want to know. Please, please recite your favorite correct. Nursery rhyme. 
Hold the dragon up higher so we can see it. to elbows, you have to knees. Perhaps you wondered why you need these. They can be funny looking, there is no doubt, but with our elbows and knees can help you out. <laughs> when you're going for a jog, or hopping around like a great big frog, you like the spin to do things like these. What does the bending is your funny knees? When you want to scratch your back or swing a back to give a ball a whack, there's one thing on which you can depend. You need your elbows and your arms to bend, sing it elbows and knees, elbows and knees. It's sure is handy to have some of these. So elbows and knees, I'm recommending. With arms and legs, got to do some bending. With arms and legs, got to do some bending. Hanging down from a trapeze. You need your legs bending at the knees to brush your teeth or to comb your hair. You must bend your elbows so your hands will get there. Sing it elbows and knees, elbows and knees. It sure is handy to have some of these. So elbows and knees, I'm recommending. Arms and legs got to do some bending. Talking about elbows and knees. Da da da. In this corner, the villain Dizzy Baluba. Oh, 
Let's get up. This old man, he played one, he played knick-knack on my thumb with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give it all the bone. This old man came rolling home. Perfect. This old man, he played two, he played knick-knack on my shoe with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give it all the bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played three, he played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give it all the bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four, he played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played five, he played knick-knack in my hive with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played six, he played knick-knack on my stick with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played seven, he played knick-knack up in heaven with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played eight, he played knick-knack on my gate with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played nine, he played knick-knack on my spine with a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played ten, he played knick-knack over again. With a knick-knack, paddy-whack, give your dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. That's a great show, and if you'd like a, if you'd like a video of the J.P. and Ted show, please send your name, address, and phone number to Harris Inc., 950 Manchester Avenue, Media, Pennsylvania, 19065. Please make sure you have your return address. Also, if you'd like to send some letter or email, please send it to tedula at awol.com or, or to 950 Manchester Avenue in Moylan, Pennsylvania, 19065. Okay, thanks for many ado. Um, John Paul? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Canada. Okay, and, and to the stage crew and assistants, and my mom for filming us. And besides puppet shows, we also have videos, and we also do artwork and advertising, teaching and corporate stuff, housework for the needy and the homeless, uh, <laughs> and for the elderly, and, and some charitable work. And okay. remember, until the next time we meet, We've had lots and lots of fun, you know, but now it's time to go. The death shall reign, the ever remain, the ever remain. I'll be in heaven, still doing this show. See you next time. Adios.